one other dynamic block that I wanted to show you was one for this closet here. And there's some unique thought process behind it. So the first thing we want to do is get all these curtain rods in place. That's the curtain rod. And the next thing that we're going to have is this block that we have in the furniture. It's called furniture hanging clothes. And this is the start point, and it's a stretchable block. So if I wanted to, I could take this and stretch it however far I wanted to stretch. And it's just continuous close. The way I created it was to use an array command off of the linear parameter. You take the linear parameter, use the array. You're saying that all you want to do is use the columns. So it'll create a column every time at an interval that's designated by this array command. Click that. There's six objects that are associated with it and then every two feet it will regenerate all those six objects to be in the spot that you want them to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. So that's how this was created. Move this to here. And this is kind of a cheap way for me to get a command that's used quite often in AutoCAD called the XClip command. So I've got it here and it's stretched farther than it needs to be to see the clothes, right? Because I don't want to have the clothes going past there, but how do I get them to stop showing up? Blocks can be clipped. Anything that's referenced can be clipped. So XRefs you can clip, you can clip blocks. You can't clip just objects that are in a space. They have to be either some kind of link. XClip, the quickie for that is XC. You select the objects and you come here asking if it's a new one and of course it is a new one. You can either select a polyline or use a rectangular drawing method to create a rectangular polyline and that's what I'm going to do in this instance. Go from here over to here and then you see that I clipped off that last piece of clothing and I can come here mirror this and the X clip will remain and I think you notice when I mirrored it that one piece of clothing still showed up just to let everybody know that it's there but when you go and you end your mirror obviously it does turn back to being clipped like it's supposed to. I can copy this, rotate this move this and I'm just going to align it with this point and move it up. This is an X direction that I'm trying to align it to. I can do point X which is the X direction. I'm taking it and saying this is the X point I want. Now it's asking me what I want for Y and Z and for Y and Z I want it to align with this line so I'm just going to click over here and you notice that it kept the X from where I selected originally and it's moving the Y and Z to where I wanted to. Now this is X clipped again so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to type X clip, XC for X clip. Then it's asking me if I want to do a new one and I do want to do a new one. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm just deleting the old boundaries, of course I do, and I'm going to do a rectangular one again. I'm just going to select up here, and it didn't select the right spot, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to select the objects here, and do a rectangular one. Now, this is way bigger than it needs to be, but it's going to work. There's the close for the model. Now, let me just go back and do this right. Let's take this. We're going to mirror it to get to be the right angle. I'm going to move it to the right spot. Now here the X clip is incorrect so I'm going to go and use the XC command. Clip it. Ask me if I want it new. I'm going to say I do want it new. So ask me if I want to delete the old boundary. I'm going to say yes. And I want to do rectangular. Now the first corner since all this is creating kind of a havoc for me to avoid. I'm going to turn off the snaps here, click this button, and then just make a rectangle close to where I want. And that's the rectangle that I'm going to use and stretch this to the distance that I need. And now I've got the close that I want for this. I can take this curtain rod and put it on the right layer. I'm going to put it on the furniture layer. Take a construction line. Now I'm going to have to turn back my snaps. Mirror this, 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 
and this here and now they've got a fully closed closet.